Okay, so I just ended the stream and it dawned me there's one more thing I wanted to include, but I forgot. And I wanted to include it because it's not really something long enough to make a video with, but I guess I'm going to anyway. So without further ado, let me go over this one more thing I wanted to address. This is from a live from Nonsense's channel. And it's the live is from November 7th. It's titled, Let's Discuss This Weekend of Lies and Misinformation, A Blind Reaction with Contessa. Buckle up. Oh, yeah. So fun, huh? Yeah. Anyway, so this is the part I wanted to address, more or less. I mean, nothing is shocking, but there is no video. There isn't. But how do email do your email? My apologies. I thought I hit it at the right starting point. Apparently I did. It, but I don't feel like starting this video over again. So my apologies for having wasted like 20 seconds of your time there. I do apologize. You guys are gonna go absolutely nuts over this. Um about 10 minutes ago, a woman, young lady, very beautiful young lady emailed me and I just got the message. She said, I'm watching your live. She goes, I have been following Dre for years and I'm still in that private group. Couple questions here. Since when did email attach a photo? So I would getting an email, she know what this woman looked like. Allow me to answer that for you, Contessa. Emails do have photos, especially I know Gmail does from my own personal experience. When you set up your Gmail account, you include a profile picture for your Google account. Well, that stays throughout all the other Google apps that you use. Whenever your profile is presented or your identity, and your online Google identity is presented with the activity or with correspondence and what you're doing, it will travel alongside of it, your profile picture. So if you include a profile picture in your Google account, you can expect it to also come up when you email someone. At least I know that this does happen when going from Gmail to Gmail. I imagine it happens across platforms at this point. So I really haven't tested that out. But I want to say, too, the same applies for Outlook or live as, as I've come know, to know, know it to be. My profile picture will travel across the other Microsoft type of apps that require your profile information or your personalized information. Like for Skype, for example. Skype, my profile image for my live account travels over to my Skype. So yeah, this has been a thing like for a while. Like ever since the days of like Google Plus, this, this has been a thing. Like, that's how long ago it was. So I hope that this helped you. I hope that I had properly conveyed and articulated this response to your standards. Bye.